Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom. Today, I wanna to talk to you about your child's visual spatial reasoning skills. I know, I know, it sounds really boring, right? Trust me, it's not, it's huge. What we're talking about here is your child's ability to reason and solve problems using anything other than words. That is, pictures, shapes, diagrams, maps, charts, and tables. I remember when my daughter was applying for school at age four. I was told that they were going to make her draw circles and squares and triangles. Well, she couldn't draw those shapes at that age, and I thought, why are they making her do that? What is so important about those silly shapes? It turns out circles and squares and triangles are the basis for all letters and numbers. Think about it. The letter O is a circle. The letter V is two sides of a triangle. The letter H is two sides of a square with a line in the middle. The number five requires that you draw a right angle and half a circle. Kids need visual spatial reasoning skills to do geography, geometry, and science. So what can you do to build these skills? Go on a shape walk with your child. See how many shapes you can spot when you're outside. Tires are circles. Windows are squares or rectangles. A roof might look like a triangle. Have a shape picnic. Choose foods that are different shapes, such as Doritos, which are triangles, crackers, which are square, or bologna, which is round. Teach your child to draw shapes. You can take a yellow highlighter and draw several shapes on a page that your child can trace over. Or to teach your child to draw a triangle, put three dots on a page and have your child connect the dots. She'll always have a triangle. Let your child play with puzzles and blocks. These two activities are the best at building visual spatial reasoning skills. And if your child doesn't want to play with puzzles, get puzzles with artwork of characters or items they like, whether it's cars, trains, princesses, superheroes, or their favorite TV characters. As you might have guessed, teaching your child about shapes and visual reasoning is great preparation for kindergarten testing and success. That's right, your child's visual spatial reasoning skills are commonly measured on intelligence tests. Let me show you how it might be done. On this question, a child is shown a design with a piece that is missing. She's asked what goes in the empty space. This is similar to working with a puzzle, which is why puzzles are such good preparation for these types of questions. The answer here is E. Now here we have a visual analogy. What happens to the shapes on top must also happen to the shapes on the bottom. The child sees that the shape in the top left box stretches horizontally. If the figure in the bottom left box also stretches horizontally, C would be the answer. This next question requires strong visual spatial reasoning skills. The child must uncover the pattern that is unfolding across the rows and up and down the columns. Here, each row and column has a yellow, green, and red square. But the last row and column is missing a green square. E is the answer. Building visual spatial reasoning skills is not just important for testing. These skills are vital to reading, writing, and math. So you wanna make sure that your child has a solid foundation in these abilities. I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom, preparing your child for all of life's tests.